to the channel today we have the August Alcrate. So this is a monthly box you can get for every month um, with a YA book and some bookish goodies. So with this box actually as well, this is the August book, um, Steep Dream Folklore or something like that. So the book was really interesting and one of the items that I have read that is inside the book. So let's see if I can recognise that. Um, also, I have skipped September's box because obviously the book doesn't really intrigue me that much and uh, there's no fandoms that I know that's going to be inside that box. So, um, um, yeah, so obviously I do skip a lot of the Alcrate boxes and do keep mainly Fairy Loot, but it might change next year where I am going to swap out of that, well not swap out, I still do Fairy Loot, but if there is a fandom that I do not know in that box, I probably will do the same thing I'll do with Alcrate, skip it. But I think next month I might be getting the, not next month, so next month I am doing the, getting both of the unplugged um, September boxes, their anniversary boxes. Uh, Beacon just announced their um, Halloween box that they're doing. The two books sound really, really good, so I might have to get the box if I can get my hands on it, because I've only done a few. Um, but yeah, I might be doing unplugged for next year for like full time or subscription, depends. Let's just get into this box. So I know in this box is going to be the next um, Lord of the Rings bowl. Obviously for me, I don't know, I don't really know anything about Lord of the Rings or anything like that. So that don't really intrigue me. If and in case you're wondering why there is like a ton of DVDs next to me, that's because I am starting to do my collection haul videos for I do for December when I uh, put those out. But um, I'm doing a bit early because I need the space, I need room, I see what I don't need, stuff like that. And I want to watch TV. Like movies and everything, I need it now. So this is the theme card right here. This is very beautiful and I've got a hair piece sticking out. And then obviously there is the back of the goodies. So steeped in folklore is the August theme. I should have had the... Let me go and get my bin. Hang on. Anyway. Very slowly transferring the crinkle stuff onto... Into the bin. Onto the bin. Into the bin. So they don't get everywhere, but I already failed. There is one strand. Okay, so let's just go for this a big ass, you know, well, it's not a big ass box, but it's a box. So this is actually the Alcrate exclusive box. There is four of these both um, that they are doing. This is the first one I've got. Um, I think they are, which one is this one? Is this this number two? So this is a bowl featuring design paying homage to the magical elvish sanctuary, 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 oh my god, sanctuary of Rivendell. Sorry if I said that really wrong. I'm so sorry. But this is the box, and I do like getting bowls, I think, because obviously when I do move out and everything, I'm just going to have so many bowls. This is a super cute little soup bowl, actually. So this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get a more closer look on the detail. This is what it looks like, all the stuff on here. So I never watched this, but this is like a really soup kind of soup bowl. It's very small, and it does have that in the middle. And you do have Osborne at the bottom. That is really cute. I love that. And you can use it for a dip. But that is a very cool. Okay, next up we have their listenary pin, what they've been doing every month. Um, this is number eight. I can't believe it's literally almost end of the year, guys. It's gone so quick. I have to think about what advent calendars I'm getting and stuff like that. So I'm only getting a few this year if I can get my hands on them. But we'll see. So this is what it looks like. So it says the Marigold. Sail through the Port of Cerro's. Marigold. Go what it looks like. Just trying to get the foil off. Hmm. Marigold. Marigold. Where is that from? The only thing I can remember from Marigold, I think, is like I don't know. Oh, a bit stumped in that one. That's fine. Next up, we have some tea. So this is from something, steeped in folklore. She poured a pouch from the tea from the basket. The, ba the bag reads an owl crate exclusive and smells simply delicious. Magic seemed to waft up from the bag as she carefully opened it, inhaled it deeply, and then it smelled like bread, banana bread. Wait, really? How delightful she couldn't wait. Oh, never mind. So this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. Really cute. And here you can see what's inside the tea. 
So inside the ingredients are honey, bush tea, apple pieces, decaf Ceylon tea, cocoa nibs, cinnamon, natural banana flavoring, natural chestnut flavoring, and marigold flowers, and natural banana flavors. That sounds really fun. I am, they do have one of those like sealed things. So I want to smell this. I want to sniff. I want to sniff because it says that it smells like banana, banana bread. Like, I don't mind loose teas, but they are just kind of a little bit for me to steep. But I feel like on my holiday, I'm going to try this. I have to get all my steepers out, though. So, um, next item. What is this? We have something in a packet. I think it's new. It feels nice. I see it first. There was a song in the forest. That's literally what it says. What is that from? Oh my god, if it's one of my fandoms that I know, I'm going to be so disappointed. No, so it's maybe like a tapestry, but it's a very good size as well. There was a song in the forest. That's really nice too. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I'm failing miserably at this. Okay, then we have... I recognise the back of that. Get this out the back. Oh, this is so cute. So we have this, if you're not going to tell by the cranes. This is by Six Crimson and Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I have definitely known that fandom because of the crowns, cranes give it away. Then we have this quote at the back. To this day, cranes carry the standards of our fate. So it has this like little button bit. What is it? Oh, it's origami. Interesting. I'm not very good at or origami, but... Hmm. This shows you how to make a crane. Oh, ooh. I think I'm going to try and make myself one. Maybe see on my Instagram see if I can make one. We'll see that. But that's a lot of origami, so if you make mistakes, it's fine. But that's very, very cute. Cuties. Okay, then obviously I see the book. We're going to get to the book in a minute. You need, can I have that? Thank you. No, you need it. Mm. Let me just put that box there. Okay, so we have our owl crate little scoop, I'll say. So inside it, it tells you our design. So as you can see, this is the book we got and this is the cover we have. So we looked at it through more details. We have questions about the author. Um, we have about... Um, your Middle Earth, so what would my name in the Lord of the Rings, so pick one from each row, find the columns containing your choice. So if you have A, if you go for A, um, Lord of the Rings, Invert, Sword, Countryside, Earth, Courage. So if you mostly A's, you belong in the Shire, mostly B's, you would belong in the Riverdale, and then River, so River, Rivendale, you belong, if you get mostly C's, you belong in the Firebell, the home of the dwarves. That's interesting. And then obviously we also have more. Then we have the art challenge. And then we have, I love how they do this little Spotify thing as well. Um, but I, so I don't have Spotify, so I wouldn't know any of these tales. Um, and then we have some other releases we decided about this month. So other books that came out this month was The, Bo the Book Eaters by Sonia, sorry, Sonia, Sonia Dean. Uh, Three Kisses, One Midnight. That's got three authors on there. Uh, Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin, Belladonna by Adeline Grace. So I believe that's the book we're going to get in our fairy loot for next month, I believe. Um, yeah. And then we have uh, Babel by R. F. Kuang. So that is a book that Illumicrate is doing and also fairy loot adult box. So there is that. Then obviously they have our little um, next month theme. So this is the box I am skipping, unfortunately. So this is a September theme, it's called Memento Morin. So the theme card is really cool. And then at the back, they actually do let you know on what the next item sneak peek is going to be. And every September box will include an ex exclusive hand poured candle from Flip the Wick. I love Flip the Wick, but obviously when I say I have cancelled this, but I skipped this box, it's only because there was no fandoms that I know. And if you want to know what the fandoms are, give me one second, I need to put it up. Um, <laughs> So, 
It says that um, our August book is a magical standalone fantasy inspired by a Welsh mythology. So this is the book I'm reading. What a twit. Sorry, next month's theme, sorry, was the, bleh, it's a standalone gothic mystery novel that takes place on a creepy tropical island, dark and atmospheric. This book is perfect read for those who are minded to the perfect read for those who are minded for summer for just a little bit longer, but also looking forward to spooky season. I was like, oh, that looks that sounds quite interesting, but then the book got the saw what the kind of the book spoiler is going to be. I was like, mm, maybe not. So there's going to be a lot of things, but then it says that the items included by this is going to be included by a galleon. I've never read the book. A monster calls. I've never read that either. Gideon the ninth. Nope. Stalker Jack the Ripper and nope as well as a found a neutral item then the literary uh, luggage pin is going to be from and lashes and that's going to be the only thing i would know and that would just be the pin so i decided to skip that box which is fine let's get to this book so i feel like i've been talking a bit too long already now can i can can you not can you not so i do actually prefer this color to the actual um original color as well Oh, he knows. So inside it, we do have a um, author letter from the letter, of course. And as you can tell, the book of the month is The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd Jones. This book is beautiful. I'm intrigued from it already. So we have just white pages, and at the back it says here, it says the girl learned. Uh, sorry, yeah, the girl learned that water could save a life or take it. It was a lesson she would never forget. Ooh. Look at these end papers. That's pretty. Let's check the at uh, the end. Can you go down? Yeah, it's that's the same. Um, let's look at the book Nike. Ooh, so the ocean was immortal and patient. So that's what the cover of so the hard back of the book is. I love this sense of art. And then we have our work on the rare stuff jacket. Ooh, what is those? Ooh, okay. I see a corgi. Is that a corgi? I think it's a corgi. That's cute. Then we have like ghosts, ghost horses. How interesting. So, let's read this up, shall we? The right course can topple kingdom. Once upon a time, the kingdom of Wales were rife with magic and conflict. An 18 year old Merida, as Ma or Mare, is a world created with both. As, as the last living water diviver, she can use water with magic, and it is a skill many would kill to possess. For years, Mer has been running from the prince who bound her to her services and forced him to kill hundreds, hundreds with her magic. Now all Mer decides is a safe, quiet uh, life, far from power and politics. Yeah. Um, but that peace is disrupted when Mer's old hands are returned with a proposition, use her ability to bring down the very prince who abused them both. With a morality crew of allies, including a fake cursed young man, the Lady of the Thieves, and a corgi that may or not may be, be a spy, Oh my god, that's actually really what? A corgi that may or not be a spy. Excuse me? Um, Mayor must decide whether to run for the rest of her life or stand and fight for the true feed freedom she long desired. Part her um his novel, part dark fairy tale, this immense and in Thor um fantasy from a claimed author, Emily Lloyd joins, will enchant readers until the very last page. Okay, that I'm very intrigued. And look at that second child, that's beautiful. I'm actually quite intrigued to see what this comes into. The ocean will rise and the kingdom will fall. Sounds so good. I'm actually into this and I cannot wait to read this. So that was everything that came in the August Owlcrate box. Um, Before we get to the end, where did I put them? I need to find out what these items were. So of course we have the um, limited edition ceramic bowl collection from Lord of the Rings, a university. Then we have the Steeped in Folklore Tea Blend. Um, we have the Six of Crimson Cranes Organi Kit, which is really cool. Um, we have the Tapestry that's from Uprooted. Uprooted. I've never read that book, so okay. Um, then we have the Wood in the Winds. Wood. Blah, blah, blah. Bring a book of fair to a bag of wolf with the woods. Okay. I think I'm missing an item. So it says, um, bring uh, the wood, the wolf and the woodsman spied enamel zipper pole 
design a collaboration with the Pitchy, Pickety What Witch and the Joan of Arc. I don't actually have that. That's a bit strange. I'll let Al Crate know that I feel like I might be missing that. So yeah. So that is a book I something I don't have. As, as enamel super pool. Nope, don't have that. Um then we have the mirror gold from it's Fable. Yes, I was gonna say it was Fable, but I was like, I might be wrong. But that is Fable. That was the only thing I was recognising from what it was, Fable. Oh, I should have gone with my folds. And then we have the Drowned Woods. Uh, I'm actually quite annoyed about that. Where's the zipper pull? Come on, guys. This is the first time I'm probably going to have an item that's in the box before. But like I said, I will just contact Alcrate and let them know that I didn't get that in the box. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys when I get the next Alcrate. So we see what October will be. It should be alright. I um, should be getting that box anyway. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.